the Cincinnati Art Museum today, and we are doing the My Cam Angela's Art Hunt entitled All the Fields. And we are starting right here with this one. And uh, let's see what we're supposed to do on this one. Hold on, it's going to take me a minute. There we go. Is this an innocent scene? of young people listening to music or is something more salacious going on? What do you think is going on in this scene? Well, the lady is definitely very engrossed in the music. And the guys with their beautiful long hair seem to be quite engrossed with her. Let's see, what else do we do here? Look again. A scene like this looks innocent today, but in the 17th century Dutch Republic, it provides a moral lesson. What do you think is being taught? I don't know. I'm not sure. What do you think is being taught? That she should ignore the boys and keep her mind on her her academics. That's what it was. I don't know. Let's get you some more information about it. It's called the Music Party Circus 1670. Ooh, that's old. Bequest of Mary Emery. Oh, Mary Emery. She was awesome. Here, we'll get this down here if you want to try to read that. You'll have to pause it. I'm not going to read all that. Okay, let's go see. What our next find is. Here's the next one we are looking at. Winter landscape, late 1640s. Do you want to build a snowman? This winter landscape is waiting for you to have some snowy fun. A happy bustling Dutch village, Dutch village blanketed by snow. Imagine you are part of this scene. Write a poem about what you see, what you hear, and what you feel. Oh gosh, well we've got people, look like they're playing some sort of a hockey game on the ice. Not very good at writing poems. Looks like it's kind of later in the day. You see the pinkish hues to the bottoms of the clouds. I don't even know what I would make my poem about. Everybody came out today to play. On the ice, it was cold. So you better be careful on what you hold. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay. Let's see what the next step on this this one is. Look again. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, Ert van der Neer, specialized in winter scenes. Nocturnes, sunrises, and sunset. Why do you think he chose these subjects? Well, they're very beautiful, especially sunsets. I always love a sunset. Sunsets always remind me of Lily. When she was a little girl and she first no started noticing them, she used to get so excited. Well, let's go over here and look at the plaque. In case you want to look at it a little bit more. Art Vandermeer. The Netherlands, late 1640s, a winter landscape. See what the next one is we can find. All right, this is the next one we're looking at. This is called Judith, the head of oh no, there's a big word, Holofernes. I'm from Kentucky, so yeah, we don't say things right. But uh, there you go. If you want to read it for yourself, Ooh, 1460. Wow, this is really old. But let's see what we're supposed to be doing on this one. Okay, in Renaissance Italy, the story served as a warning to those who were who threatened the liberty of Italian city-states. How do you view the story today? Well, I'm not sure. 
I, I guess it was okay then to walk around with a head in the basket on top of your head. But I don't think that would fly today. Look again. The story of Judith's victory also served as a moral example to the 15th century Florentine women. Why do you think that was so? Well, I'm not too good at this. Let's look at this a little bit longer. one is and the next one is actually one of my favorite works of art so uh, let's go find it this is one of my favorite artworks here at the Cincinnati Art Museum it's called Love Found Love Won Love Lost it's the tra tragic story of Duvernay and his Lizzie so what are we supposed to do on this one? First question is, author Henry James described this effigy as a knight, a knight's lady in death. Do you think that is an apt description? Why or why not? I think this is a pretty apt description. It reminds me a lot of some of the knight's tombs that you would see in England where they have the effigy on top of them. It's really pretty cool. And our next, our look again. Elizabeth was Frank's student. Compare her works in this gallery with his paintings. Where and how do you see his influence? Well, that seems to be advanced <laughs> on me. Well, let's see if we can find some of her works. Well, I wasn't able to find any of her works. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you were able to participate in the scavenger hunt with me. Yeah, that was fun. Thanks for hanging out with me at the Cincinnati Art Museum.